Okay guys, so this is my last ditch attempt at um, doing a vlog on this channel. I put my hands up, I'm embarrassed. I have been very flaky and not very good at doing it. And you know, I just said, you know, I'm gonna try and maybe do a vlog like every two weeks. Just, you know, kind of like follow me around, show you what I'm doing with my lives and that kind of stuff. Why does my arm look so skinny? Oh. Um, and the reason I'm doing this, and the, I have to tell you guys the truth. I know I'm somebody who looks like I've got all my shit together, and I really, really don't. I really, really haven't. I have been struggling a lot, like an actual headless chicken. I have been disorganized. I have been just, just go, like life has been pushing me as it has felt like it and I've started to see it take its toll. And I, you know, I went away on holiday and it really helped me bring back and recenter myself. And I don't know if any of you guys feel this way where you literally feel like you don't even know, you just don't even know what's going on. Your life is just happening to you. Um, and what do you guys do? I don't know if it's just me. Do you guys ever feel like that? I don't know. I have been, and I'm someone who's obsessed with order, and I've been so disorganized. My house, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a mess. Like, it's been a mess. My wardrobe, my hair, everything, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. There's no routine. Like, my feet haven't been manicured. If you ever see my toes right now, it's just an embarrassment. It's not even a joke. And I should be embarrassed, but I think sometimes it's important to come and tell the truth before you're able to make things better. But anyway, whatever. My life's been chaotic. I've been having um, battles with myself as an individual, and um, but I'm combating that by facing my troubles and issues head on. Okay, so this rebel is um, this rebel is in my room. Look at my flooring. This is the rebel who did this. She's going in my drawer. She's throwing, literally throwing the items out while I do my makeup. Is that fun? Is that really a game? No. <laughs> is that really? Is that really a game, Grace? Is that really your game? Yeah. No. Is look. This is why I'm getting wooden flooring. Look. At, well, look what happened to my floor here. I don't know if it's just me that after I have a little cry, I feel I feel like I can face the world again. I think I'm such an emotional person that like my pent up emotion has to be released. And then once it's released, I'm like, okay, good. Do you guys do that as well? Okay, anyway, right. Just found out that my table, dining table, is gonna come today. Um, our little sofa that we're having here is coming today. Yay! And then over here, we have got a ton of parcels. You will not believe how much parcels we currently have. Look, just literally look at the house. This is the flooring that's finally arrived, yay. Like, it's actually crazy. Look at this. Check this little thing out. This is meant to go in the empty snug. Actually, it looks so small here. It's just like tiny. Lunch is also on the go. I've got tuna with vegetables. And a salad. My plate is so tiny because every other plate is currently in the dishwasher. But that actually looks really good. All right, I'm off to run a couple of errands. There is a motorbikist behind me who's just revving his engine like no man's business. All right, go. So extra, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna run a few errands. And be when I say run a few errands, the first thing involves getting myself some cakes and something sweet because it's been a while and I'm craving. And then I'm gonna pick up my hair dye. And that's it really. I'm acting like I've got major errands. I really don't. Out and about right now. Oh, it is just glorious. I'm just gonna top up my tan. <laughs> and I feel very weird vlogging as I walk. Very weird. Right. I'm looking to do this colour or oh, I don't know if I want to go really vivid and go something like that I feel like you have to start off quite <laughs> quite slow first don't go crazy you know what I'm gonna go with these ones 
I swear, I'm one of these people that's so impatient. And as soon as I get in, I have to, I'm not even gonna lie, I took a bite of this in the car. Like, that's how impatient I am. Babe, I brought treats. Where's Grace? He's locking Grace outside. Grace, can you, uh, Mike, can you not bully my daughter? Um, by the way, I'm playing, because I think some people are gonna take this really seriously, but no, it's not. Right, let me sh Michael, come and have a look at what we have. Babe, look. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I wish I can, oh, I've taken off my eyelashes and I look insane. <laughs> I wish I can say I've been doing lots, I haven't. I've just been, oh Lord, I've been just trying to get on with some work, which is virtually impossible to do with a wriggling baby. <laughs> been chilling this evening is spent building together we are going to make all the stuff for my room and the rest of the house that is I care I'm not gonna do that much though because yes, I got him hey I'm overseeing I'm overseeing Another day, um, last night, we ended up spending the whole evening putting up IKEA furniture for inside here. Grace has already been on the attack this morning, but actually it looks quite good. Oh, another location, but out of focus. Okay, we're in focus now. We're in the office. It's been a work day today. Um, it never stops though. Have a look. Grace is in the office with us because as a mum you still need to bring the baby everywhere. <laughs> the girls are here working, getting on with stuff. And this is our other office which is a bit messy but it's lived in. And we've got a concept for the shoot for when we launch it. Yeah. I'd like to run through that with you. Sounds like a plan. Um, I was just going through my, um, my um, mail which is very intense and look at this. How adorable. Okay, I'm not sure about the horn, but I actually feel like I'd wear this crown, just like wearing it. Thank you, Tart. This is from Tart. Hello, lovely people. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure how this vlog is gonna end up because I don't know where I kind of start, where I kind of end. It's a Thursday right now. Um, I haven't really vlogged at all this week. It's been a working week. I've been trying to get my ish on lock. Um, it was Grace's birthday this week. Obviously, Michael's birthday as well. She's amazing. She's beautiful. He's amazing. He's beautiful. We're having a big party, party planning and all that kind of stuff now, which is fun. My room is all, all done, basically. Waiting for two more bits, but I've sorted out all my makeup. My whole makeup collection is sorted. Oh my gosh, I feel like a weight has been lifted off my head. My closet is done. Look, I'm gonna do a proper tour, but I just wanna give you guys like a, just a sneak peek at uh, how amazing it is. Oh, this is the look fantastic. This is the um, the beauty egg. I believe these are actually already sold out and I also get my look fantastic um, beauty box which comes with a magazine every month. But they sent me two of these. So I'm gonna give a giveaway. Um, they haven't asked me to do this. It's not sponsored or anything like that. But I just thought it would be a nice thing to do because I don't need both of these. Let me show you what's inside the beauty yet. And this is a new one. This is so beautiful. I kind of want it. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm not going to be selfish. I'm not going to be greedy. I do not need both. All I want you to do is make sure you're following me on my Instagram. Um, leave a comment under the picture that I had holding the beauty box. Make sure you are also following Look Fantastic on their Instagram page, and then I will reach out to you and give you one. Again, they never asked me to do this, but I don't, I don't need both of them. It's really nice, I love Look Fantastic. I get all my beauty from them. I'm going to the office. I haven't been to the office this week, and I need to show my face. <laughs> How cute is this? This is what Grace gets up to in nursery. I literally have so many things with her hand and footprints on it. Although her feet look gigantic here. What the heck? <laughs> Takes after her mama. That's so funny. I left the house and I forgot to wear shoes. Oh my God. <laughs> I wear my slippers. 
Oh my gosh, what am I doing? It's a real thing. I got in the car wearing fluffy slippers. And we're not at home anymore, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Oh my gosh, and I actually need to go to the shop. Oh my gosh, what have I done? No, I'm just going to have to roll in these right now. Look what I've just seen in the office. This has come from Nails Inc. How cool is this? The girls are all diligently working. To be honest, I think they're just putting their heads down because they don't want to be on camera. Um, which, what happens, we have some hair making going on over here. If you're wondering why there's just one ugly wig head. The wig head is so ugly as well though. What happened to her face? Oh, Tracy, oh, she has a name. Tracy, oh my gosh. Poor Tracy. The office grind happens. Getting on with some work, some editing. I actually like being here because I get to um, have a chin wag, which is always fun, isn't it, ladies? Yeah. No one's filming you. You're all right. Oh, you're all right. They're like, <laughs> are you filming? Um, yeah, casual. It's nice. Okay, we are done. Everyone's gone now. Me and Michael are going for dinner. We're actually en route to Ask Italian. I feel like my shoes are on the wrong way around, but they're just really uncomfortable. At least you've got shoes on this time. <laughs> Oh yeah, thanks for wearing my Who slippers. Who leaves the house with slippers on and doesn't realise until they're halfway to their destination? Me! The happy food dance involves shaking of the shoulders. Ro rolling of the shoulders, that's it. More like a shoulder roll. Listen, okay, goodbye. I need to eat. This will make you hungry. I don't know what will. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Today's a special day because it's the first time Grace has held a toothbrush and brushed her teeth. Well, I brushed her teeth for her for the first time, but look at her. She's about that clean teeth life. She has seen us brushing our teeth, and I often find that um, she like wants to imitate us, so we got her own toothbrush. <laughs> She does have four teeth now. Dental hygiene is very important when you have four teeth. Very important. Can I have your toothbrush, Grace? Thank you, darling. And she's so strong, you know. No, Grace, you don't need it anymore. It's finished. No, Grace, leave me, leave me alone. Oh, attacking me. Attacking me with the toothbrush. Leave me alone. Another day being productive, being good, going to the gym this morning. I'm not gonna lie, I have not been going. I've been very unhappy with the state of my body because I know that it can be good if I was consistent and not lazy. So yeah, as of Sunday, I started to go back to see and I'm just gonna give you a realistic view. And then you know what it's like, when you see all these girls, they have their babies, and it's like snap back gay, snap back. And you know, I was under the illusion, but then realistically, like, there was no snapback. <laughs> like, it isn't awful, but it isn't, like, amazing. So, yeah, I want to be toned. I want to have a waist. <laughs> um, realistic idea. And remember, I'm naturally thin, so I do not put on a lot of weight. I've never been able to put on a lot of weight, but I'm not skinny, skinny. But in my family, most people are quite skinny. So my sister is really slim. My dad's slim. All of his side are just long and slim. So I'm kind of lucky like that, but I still have a bit of COVID char because I picked that up from my mama. Um, and I just have no abs, <laughs> like no abs, no hips. <laughs> It's hard, the struggle is real, like, you know, I'm black, where's my bum, where's my hips, I have fake breasts, like, seriously. But you know what, maybe some stereotypes are not necessarily true. This is what I look like after a baby. And I'm kind of filming it because I know that I'm going to try and work and get some abs and work on everything. Anyway, I go to Virgin Active and um, I've been going to Virgin Active for quite a while now, I really like the gyms. I'm going to go there today. Michael is in a serious rush for me to hurry up. He's actually written me an exercise plan. If you guys do not know, he's a physiotherapist by trade. So obviously he, he likes to share his expertise with me. And that's why I don't like going to the gym with him. Because he's like, you're not doing it right. Well, actually, no, no, no. No. He's, he's, can you hear the car engine? He's like, we've got to go. Here we have the wonderful Michael who isn't having a moan about things. Here he is, hi babe. 
This is the routine that Michael has written for me. He's got very neat and tidy hair, I think. Had a really good session at the gym nice right gonna go in and get ready for the day i just picked up some fresh sourdough bread from the bakery i decided that if i am gonna eat bread it better be good all right just been doing some work this morning there's about a million parcels that have just arrived at our house including our sofa some stuff that i'm trying on for tomorrow good day good stuff um went to the doctors about my um hair don't know if i mentioned it probably did mention it yesterday but basically and i hate talking about this because yeah actually let's be real uh basically i in like the last two weeks oh my battery's low i developed this like like a little my scalp was really itchy and then i developed this like little patch right here on my head i'm not going to show you because it just looks so crusty and then it's just been growing and now it's like on my whole hairline and I said I feel like it like started from stress it's kind of like psoriasis and then basically where I've kind of itched it like I've lost my hair there and I've got like a a patch like not that big but about that big here like that he said I'm not going bald it's fine it's just that like, scratching it and look as you can see I just want to keep itching my hairline and if you can see like it's like a dark patch here and a dark patch here just these little dry patches um so he's given me a shampoo that should help me um with it and i don't know it's really upsetting why my hair's always been that thing that i just don't like about myself and it's so crazy like in the black community everyone's like oh if you leave your hair blah 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 it's gonna be thick and full like i've never had thick awful hair like naturally and you know i always try to grow my hair long and stuff like that and it can grow long but it'll just look thin so i feel like i'm just gonna give myself a number one and just accept that my hair just isn't that long or full or i'm just always gonna wear it in a bob so be it a little afro or be it like a little short bob i think that's the route i'm gonna go down but firstly i just need to make sure that my scalp goes back to normal i'm actually using a new skincare range from a dermatologist who specializes in darker skin tones and so far so good i definitely feel like my face looks a lot more even and i really wanted to focus on my pores and like areas like around my neck which were discolored they're just really high quality products and she's like sunscreen 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 has to be done my house is parcel galore so i'm going to attempt to sort out some of the parcels if my willing husband is willing to help me i haven't eaten all day either do you ever do that like you go a whole day and you realize you haven't eaten mike's the man with the plan the man with the plan trying not to cut the rug starting to feel like all warm and cozy this is our new sofa from made it is epic 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 We're trying to fix this table. She decides, you know what I want to do? I want to climb on the table where the Stanley knife is, butts and not, she just can't help herself. I know, I get it, you're, you're cute and everything. I get it. If we're doing something, she has to be in the thing we're doing. Why? I don't know why, but that's just grace for you. Guess you just had bath time with mummy, looking like slick Eric because it was hair wash day today wasn't it darling yeah it was she doesn't like getting her hair washed um but it has to be done you know doesn't it babe i work <gasps> i kiss kiss i have a huge 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 shoot with um l'oreal tomorrow so i am prepping everything properly tonight the car is coming to get me i think at 7 15 so it's quite an early um journey 
room sorted out. Stuff is like folded. We have actually got three pairs of shoes, two dresses. Ready, we're ready. We are ready. Charlotte, Charlotte is amazing. <laughs> this is Miss L'Oreal who <laughs> really gets the show going. She's gonna vlog for me right now. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Oh, I don't you love her hair. It's I know, I know. But your hair's even more amazing. Love it. It does, isn't it? It's like white, but with like nice blue Thank tips you. and like pink and everything. Stunning. Oh my god. This is for my vlog. Oh, this is your vlog? Yes, I'm <laughs> Just done one round of shooting. Look at the gorgeous girls I'm She's like, can we do one more? No, no. Stunning. Ruth had a baby 10 weeks ago. She's a mummy. He's here. And then we've got Lydia. Oh, you guys no. haven't seen Lydia's channel. You should see it. I'm sure you have because you'll love her. Like, we are going to do, do something more? very soon, aren't we? Oh, yeah. I keep saying it, but I've just been so chaotic. But I love, you lo I love Lydia. <laughs> and we all look fantastic together, which is always like fun. Make sure you check out her channel. Check out the set. These guys come up with such good ideas. Lovely ladies, lovely ladies. Do you feel like on set? It is yeah. Yeah. seven o'clock. It's all good. This is a lie. Well, I'm not having a prosecco. Like Charlotte's like ready. And what time have you been here since? Seven. Seven. And it's seven. Twelve hours. She's also going out tonight. <laughs> Any of you guys who ever think about going into the life of PR, like it isn't a joke. Like these girls are out here grinding all day. Some of these girls were here at six o'clock this morning. They're amazing. Like honestly, I'm inspired, but I'm tired and missing my baby. Oh, oh, I'm getting goodies. I'm getting goodies. The whole point of being in Beauty Squad is that I get stuff early. Hello. Oh my gosh, this is so my color. I can tell. She's like bringing it over for me to like have a play with. But yeah, I'm tired. I'm just drinking my coke. Eating bread rolls and chocolate cake. I'm done on my shoot now. I don't know why I'm green. I'm very sorry about that. But we're done now. We are done. It's a wrap. Going home to my family. Okay, beautiful people. Yeah, I look crazy. I got in. I was so tired. I just had dinner and had the longest bath. Washed my hair. Now I feel amazing. I'm with my wonderful husband. Did you miss me? Have you been somewhere? <laughs> oh, he's oh he's writing me my exercise routine. I was thinking, who's this guy messaging at night? There's no, I don't know if it's a good thing or if he's just telling me that I need to get fit. You're the one that came up with the idea. Mm, that's true. He is good at this. He has helped me. I'm just, I'm just helping where I can. Mm, okay. All right, darling. All right, I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.